If you want to expose more lies in physics, well, the values of physical constants from Kadata is a pack of lies, and we are diving straight into it. This episode is about the values of the physical constants. What do physicists say about the theory of everything? A theory of everything can be gotten from the unification of general relativity and quantum mechanics, as they say. Well, unless we are looking at this from the aspect of pi geometry, in that both big masses, like planets, are in pi shapes, and smaller masses, like electrons, are in pi shapes as well, then I can agree with this. Perhaps the pi theory of everything is your unification theory in physics, but besides that, we need an almighty equation. You see, the universe is made up of different things. Every entity in this universe is represented by a constant. There's a constant representing matter. There's a constant representing energy. A constant for gravity. A constant for space-time. A constant for electricity, even a gas constant. All these entities exist in this universe. Just one of these entities exists everywhere around us. And that's space-time. If there's anything that can testify to everything that happens in this universe, it is space-time, the space around us, and it is omnipresent. In reality, matter and energy exists on space-time, meaning that every other thing exists on space-time. Hence, explaining our universe requires an equation whereby it is space-time versus the other entities. This is the explanation behind the God equation formation which is space-time over the entries to give a result, space-time times the entries to give a result, and the entries over space-time to give a result. These are the three forms of the God equation, also known as the ultimate physics equation. It simply says, Insert entries as P1, P2, and so on, and get a result Px. In a comprehensive way, this means that if you want to know the results from a combination of matter and energy, insert the constant for matter and the constant for energy and get a result. But interpretation is key to understand because the result will be another constant representing another entity. Hence, this is why we would need the exact values of the physical constants to aid accurate interpretation. Meanwhile, we have a task at hand, and it is to find the true values of these physical constants. These right here are false values, and they lead to a dead end with no progress in physics. Again, pi is the originator of the universe, and it always comes to our rescue. The values of the physical constants are not the only values we can insert in the God equation. We can insert pi codes, and inserting these pi codes will lead to a physical constant. But what are pi codes? There's a link between the four zodiac numbers which resulted to the pi value, the root of prime numbers, and it's also here to showcase another bond called pi codes. It's simple. Pi codes are numbers that if divisible by 2, 3, and 5 of the zodiac, will lead to 1 for justification. For example, to know if a number is a pi code, here's how you do it. Note, you can do the division with any zodiac number, either 2, 3, or 5, or a combination. The first zodiac number 1 becomes the tool for justification. This means that the division of a certain pi code must end in 1 using either 2, 3, or 5, or a combination. If it ends in 1, it is a pi code, 
If it doesn't, it is not a PI code. I'll use four examples for you to understand better. You have to use only the zodiac numbers for division. Let's see if 90 is a PI code. You can start with any of the three zodiac numbers. Starting with 5. 5 divide 90 gives 18. 5 can't divide further, so we use either 2 or 3. I'm using 3. 3 divide 18 gives 6. 3 divide 6 gives 2. 2 divide 2 gives 1. The division ends in 1, so 90 is a pi code. Note, because 90 is a pi code, and it resulted to 1, automatically all the products gotten in this division, which are 18, 6, and 2, are all pi codes. Next, testing if 27 is a pi code. Starting with 3. 3 divide 27 to give 9. 3 divide 9 to give 3. 3 divide 3 to give 1. The division ends in 1, therefore 27 is a pi code. Let's test the number after 27, which is 28. Starting the division with 2. 2 divide 28 to give 14. 14 divided by 2 gives 7. Now, the three zodiac numbers can't divide further. Therefore, 28 is not a pi code. Note. Because 28 is not a pi code, automatically the products in this division, which are 7 and 14, are not pi codes. That's how strong the zodiac bond is. Last one, let's try a bigger number, say 2160. Starting with 5. 5 divide 2160 gives 432. 5 can't divide further. Continue with either 2 or 3. I'm using 3. 3 divide 432 gives 144. 3 divide 144 gives 48. 3 divide 48 gives 16. 3 can't divide further, using 2. 2 divide 16 gives 8. 2 divide 8 gives 4. 2 divide 4 gives 2. And 2 divide 2 gives 1. The division ends in 1, therefore 2160 is a pi code, and its products 432, 144, 48, 16, 8, 4, and 2 are all pi codes. Now, here's the technique behind this bond. The root pi codes are the four zodiac numbers which are 1, 2, 3, and 5 which will multiply themselves in different combinations to produce more pi codes. That is what you see as the division that has just been done. But division is just a faster way by determining if it is a pi code or not. Note, during the division process, you noticed that there are numbers that could be divisible by both 2 and 3, or both 3 and 5, etc. Doesn't matter if you start with 5, or you start with 3 or 2. Or, however, as long as it's a pi code and you use the zodiac numbers to divide, it must surely end in 1. And if it's not a pi code, however you do the division, it will never end in 1. You can try it out. Now, these pi codes can be inserted into the God equation as entries. If inserted as entries, the result produces physical constants of the universe. Let's try it out. In the scientific paper titled Pi equals 3.125, Prince Jesse revealed how we can use Pi codes as entries alongside a navigator in the God equation to get a physical constant in this format. For example, using the God equation form S over P1, P2, P3 equals Px, we insert a Pi code as P1 the pi value itself as P2, and a navigator as P3. A navigator is always 10 to the power, from 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, to infinity. If we insert the pi code 54 with a navigator as 10 to the power 19, we get the electric constant. If we insert this same pi code 54, with a navigator of 10 to the power 38, we get the electron mass in kilograms. If we insert the pi code 72 with a navigator of 10 to the power 18, 
we get the gravitational constant G, this same pi code, with a navigator of 10 to the power, 41 produces the Planck constant. A navigator of 10 to the power 23 and 29 gives the reduced Planck constants. If we insert the pi code 16 with a navigator of 10 to the power 0, we get the speed of light. If we insert the pi code 3 with a navigator of 10 to the power 28, we get the elementary charge. And so on, there are lots of physical constants. You can see the full list by downloading this scientific paper fast and free on ResearchGate. Furthermore, with what you see, you notice that pi produces the full list of the physical constants of the universe. It's like an electronic book. You use the navigator to scroll up and down, and the pi codes represent the pages. You can also see that there are similarities in these constants because they are from the same source, which is pi as pi codes. You can also observe that there is a pattern behind the values of the physical constants. The physical constants are in form of the pi codes itself or values with repeating digits. The value patterns of the physical constants are all in pi codes. The value patterns as repeating digits is due to the fact that the inverse of a pi code is a repeating digit. For example, 1 over 9 produces this. 1 over 3 produces this. 1 over 11, 25 produces this. 1 over 15 produces this and so on. So again, the value pattern of a physical constant of the universe is either as a pi code or the inverse of a pi code. Now, you can see the comparison between the physical constants produced by pi and the experimental values from codata. One is exact and direct, while the other one comes with errors. This pi code entry in the God equation is the reason we have formulas in physics like these. And the format we used is the secret behind pi being in these formulas. The relationship between two physical constants of the universe is pi. Read further by downloading the related scientific papers by Prince Jesse. Now, before you doubt these values from pi, we have to show you proof that these values are true and correct. If a formula as k4 pi times the electric constant is exactly 1, we should be able to combine the values and get a result as exactly 1. Let's see which is correct. Codata or Prince Jesse. Use your calculator and confirm what you see on your screen. You see that Jesse is correct. Again, let's do the same for another formula resulting to 1. Magnetic constant over 4 pi times 10 to the power minus 7. Comparing from both sources, we see that Jesse is still standing strong. The truth can't be hidden. Lastly, they say that the magnetic constant times the electric constant times the speed of light squared results to exactly 1. Why can't Kodata values justify this? But still, Jesse's values reign supreme. Now, to the physicists who still use and support Kodata values, if you still have doubts, why don't you change these formulas, like say electric constant times, magnetic constant times, the speed of light squared, resulting to the said result, gotten instead of one as a whole. That will be hypocrisy of the highest order. To the viewers, you now see what the decisions of the physics community does to physics. The values from Kodata and other known sources from the past are a pack of lies, and you just watch the truth. Stay tuned for more YouTube short videos from the God Equation. There are still more use of the God Equation. In addition, there are still more lies to be exposed. 
Subscribe and check us out on the next episode. All these are under the theory, Ultimate Relativity, proposed by Prince Jesse. Check it out. You can read more about this Prince Jesse's discoveries by downloading Prince Jesse's scientific papers on the link below. Or by simply searching on Google. Please like, comment and share with your friends. Subscribe for more videos and check out the next episode for more exposed lies. Thank you for watching.